morning, Peter. How are you? Yeah, well, actually, you? good early morning. Yeah. Good early morning. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> before breakfast. Yes, before breakfast. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here again to see you, and you always have good things from everywhere. Thank Europe, you, Peter. Africa. Yeah, as usual, I've South been America. traveling. Uh, I've been to traveling to Morocco, mm -hmm. and then to South America in uh, in Peru, and then in the European Alps. I've been to to France, to Switzerland, and to Italy, yeah. and. Uh, Again this, year, again this year, luckily, I got some, uh, some new stuff. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's a sweet one. I know, you know, usually you have small, small bugs. That's it's hard to find a, a rosalite that size. Mm -hmm. Usually rosalite are small bugs, small pieces. Yeah, and it, has, it had been a, a while that we did not see any good, uh, any good erythrite and, uh, and rosalite yeah. from, uh, from Boisere. A nice barite. Yes, yes. The blue barite. A very nice matrix on that. Well. Yeah, we have we have seen uh, this new barite from uh, from uh, from Nador in the last uh, in the last two three years. Mm -hmm. uh, that one I got it not my last trip but the trip before I got it in uh, in May last year and it went to the lab for uh, for trimming. Um, <coughs> and I I would rank this piece in the top five, top eight mm -hmm. of, the, of the best. Uh, for the last six months, uh, they did not find any good ones. Mm -hmm. It seems that the pocket is, uh, is now finished and uh, I was happy to get uh, one last lot. That one is the one who has the rich blue with the thick blade. Yeah. They are not uh, as fragile as the other one who has the very thin one and, uh, and lighter blue. Oh, these are much thicker than the yeah. usual ones. And you know, it, it is really a nice contrasting matrix. Yeah, yeah. Most are not sitting so nicely. Yeah. Then you got the fluorite that one cannot avoid to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which makes France one of the top <laughs> nations for fluorite production. Yeah, fluorite I quality, I should say. <laughs> huh? Well, I can agree with you. <laughs> uh, if not the top. Yeah. The Brits will <laughs> fight that, but. <clears throat> so that one comes, uh, I'm sure you know, from the Aiguille Verte. Yes. You know, uh, Aiguivert is one of the 82 peaks at more than 4,000 uh, meters in the Alps. Yes. And in, uh, in 2004, the, some Strahlers made a fantastic discovery. Mm. They found what me I consider as maybe the best ever cleft in the Alps because it has produced um, in quantities and in qualities some amazing fluoride. I fully agree. They, they get the, the real strong peak color and the, and the size of the crystals was unusual for mm. the alpine fluoride from France, yeah. from, uh, from Chamonix. And, and you know, most people are not really aware, but these are all the best clefts there are up in vertical cliffs. Mm -hmm. 3,600, 3,800, almost up to 4,100 meters. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and, and people must realize the, the risk that the strollers take <coughs> to, yeah, to, get, to get their species. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a mix of uh, patient but of craziness too. Yeah, they, you know, <laughs> usually they stay in the refuge on high altitude yes. and they go off two or three o'clock in the morning to reach the yeah. site and yeah. to dig before 11 o'clock if the sun reaches, it yeah. starts melting and stones start falling. Exactly. And then it's too dangerous exactly. to be in the exactly. spot. Yeah, nice piece. Yeah. And it's in fact often you see them trimmed down. I think this has its attraction that it's in fact kept us. Yes, you know. yeah, yeah. I really like the piece because it's typically the, the kind of mineral that I like with the separate crystals yeah. on the matrix, That's with the, the contrast. When you can get yes, that yes. beautiful contrast. It has a good color, yeah. it has a good luster. And, uh, and then Bolivia. No. Uh, some of the species are fresh stuff, the, the cassiterite. Yeah. They have a really uh, Large fantastic, crystals. yeah, yeah, and fantastic luster, transparency. Mm -hmm. And also, I was lucky because I got some pieces in a, in collection, but in Bolivia. Mm -hmm. One one guy was keeping some uh, some pieces, and uh, for instance, this uh, ferberite and uh, and quartz. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah it's the nice. the ferberite has. Uh, that's really a superb, uh, oh, a superb luster. Look at the, mm -hmm. the face nice. here, if you want to handle it. Yeah, 
one of the beauties. Yeah, that one is from uh, from uh, from Kami Mine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it gets heavy with those logs. <laughs> <laughs> So nice group. Appetites all around. Yeah, appetites in here, yeah, all these yeah. white ones. Yeah. yeah, that's heavy ore. Yes. But the cassettes, yeah, I can see here, I don't know if it's uh, visible in the camera, but they're quite transparent. Yes, so maybe yes. we could take this out yes, to show. Yes, they are, they are translucent. <coughs> yeah, translucent, I should say. Yeah. Let me maybe find a, well, a mag light. You can see on the small cruiser, you can see this one is in fact transparent, really. You see? Wow. You can see it's translucent, like. Yeah, the, the quality is really good. Yeah, very high quality. Yeah. Last uh, summer, or maybe even a little before, in, in May, they found uh, some um, amazing Freibergite. From uh, from Bolivia, I will yes. show you. I see you. You picked up one. Uh, wow, that's already <laughs> sold. You it's, uh, yes, it is sold. That is sold. It's uh, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it is sold. <laughs> okay, re I, I, I remove the base. <laughs> put on another zero. Okay. <laughs> I'll just focus on the pocket. <laughs> no, it's so, uh, it's, it's, it's it's super cute. Piece. I don't collect pyrite, but this one is very cute yes. for the morphology. Yes. So that's gone. Usually I don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Usually I don't collect miniature, but when I saw this uh, one, I just bought it immediately. <laughs> yeah. I was in one mineral conference where there was not much to buy, and I bought two pirates because of the complex morphology. So. <laughs> it, it comes from uh, the famous uh, Vizy locality in France, in Isère, who, who produced this uh, very special quartz, yeah. who has a special color and, uh, and brightness too. And with a side right. And yes. I, I tried, I saw uh, these strollers who collect them, and I tried to find a small perfect piece, but yes. impossible. Yes. This is because really we are keeping, we are yes. keeping the best yeah, one. Of course, they have a few, but. <laughs> and actually, that piece belonged to the, to the strollers, to the miner who found the piece, uh, Sylvain Defarge. Yes. Uh, they found uh, with uh, the Bodina, with Gregoire de Bodina, this uh, pocket in 2004 mm. in the famous. Cleft Le Trou des Chasseurs in Vizy, and uh, when they split the lot, uh, Sylvain Defarge kept this piece, mm -hmm. and uh, I was happy to to be able to to get to get the piece. Yeah, they're very very pristine, yeah. brilliant, luster, clear, very nice, and the, you mm -hmm. know the shape, mm -hmm. morphology is beautiful. So yeah, well, let's get to the hot stuff here. <laughs> yeah, I told you there was a, a major find of uh, of Freibergite. Yes. From, uh, from Bolivia. Yeah. And uh, take it. And I got... Uh, yeah, it was good, one good of the crystals. very best yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. old pocket. In size, it's probably the, the best fiber I got ever. Yeah. And, uh, and that one is uh, with stanite, rhondorite, gemsonite and frankiite. Mm -hmm. It comes from uh, Mel Melgajero mine in, uh, in Potosi department in, uh, in Bolivia. Yeah. Beautiful, really, really good. <coughs> it's did you have uh, it photographed yet? Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff did a... I need that photo. Yes, yes, <laughs> Jeff did a photo of, uh, of the piece. Good. And uh, really, it's a, it's a major find. Now that's a for major. For the fiber guide, it, it, uh, it make a new standard. And, uh, and speaking about... Uh, Top miniature. I've got one last thing to okay. to show you from the from the Alps as a gem and beryl collector. Okay, just a miniature, but I think you will know immediately what it is. Yeah, we know what that is. It was the origin. They they the first find they said it was from Mal Val Millar just yes. to divert attention, yes. but it was in fact from Val So yeah. it was named Millarite. But it was found not in Val Millar, yeah. <laughs> but in Val Giu. That's a super beautiful crystal. Very sharp, good size, because yeah. Millarite, you can find big, but usually not so beautiful yeah. in the matrix. Mm. With a chloride inclusions yeah. and on a bavanite uh, matrix. Yeah, yeah. And the matrix is very cool itself. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. rich. Jeff did a, a really superb photo of the great. piece, too. Yeah. Great. The piece was found in uh, 1990. Yes. Beautiful, that's lovely. One of the sweet miniatures of the show for sure. Yes. 
That's great. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Peter. In one hour, it Thank will you, be Ryan. Storm. People storming. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs>